I will make a quick discussion about, about uh, active low and active high, uh, which is relating to the first exercise. Uh, so I have already now set up two LEDs that are blinking uh, in between each other, uh, or taking turns. So, okay, that's good. So first off, let's uh, talk about LEDs and how they work. I should find my pencil. Here it is. So in the blink example, which is already found on the Arduino board, there is an LED connected. And we could draw it uh, like this. And there is one long leg and there is one shorter leg um, if you connect it an external LED. This part here is the plus side and this is the minus side. Uh, to make this one light up you have to have a, a positive voltage uh, across these two pins. So basically from uh, the left side here over to this side here it should be a voltage and in this case we're working with 5 volts so we want to have 5 volts over here applied. So uh, the blink example has an output pin in this case we could use for example pin 13 I this pin is also actually connected internally inside the Arduino it's also connected to the LED which is up here so basically when you make a, a Arduino program which controls uh, pin number 13 it will blink it will turn on and off this pin which is this pin here but it will also turn on and off the LED which is over here so they are basically connected to the same uh, number in the software uh, so this is uh, LED and we also have G and D, which stands for ground, or minus, or zero volts. Could call it a lot of things, but that is basically what it is. So what happens in this case is that you, uh, when you write, you do digital write. The function inside your software, inside your program. And you assign a number, in this case uh, 13 for example and you say high or low. If you write high with big capital letters like this, it will put on a voltage to that pin and it will put out 5 volts. Voltage can never be uh, on its own or how you would say it. Voltage is always measured between two points. So what does it mean when you say uh, I put 5 volts in that place. Well, it's 5 volts in relation to ground. So it's 5 volts from here to there. That is the voltage. So voltage is never alone. It's always uh, related to something else. But when we just talk about voltage at a point, we implicitly mean ground. So it's 5 volts in relation to ground. So what we have then is that we put this one high, it will output 5 volts bit, uh, compared to ground and if we take this one and go through into the positive end of the LED uh, and then take the, uh, the negative end of the LED and draw it all the way back there will be a voltage applied from here to there that goes through the LED and then we will see we have 5 volts going over the LED and in this case, it's called uh, active high. Uh, so this is basically that you can uh, turn on the LED by applying high to the pin, by applying 5 volts to the uh, LED. We could do it the other way around, actually, because if you write low to a pin, Uh, that is basically saying uh, set the voltage to zero, set the voltage to ground. Basically you tell it to be 
ground. So if we would either instead take a cable from 5 volts out output, and I will take this one going through here, jump over here, to another LED. And this is the plus side with the long leg, and this is the minus side uh, with a short leg. And I take this one from here to uh, pin 13. Then it will blink the other way around. So the uh, LED will light up when we put pin 13 to low. Because when this one goes low, there will be zero volts here and five volts here. So there will be a voltage across these two. And the current, the electricity will flow from here to the plus side of the LED, light it up and go back to 13. When this one goes high, this one will get the value of five volts. And 5 volts compared to 5 volts is basically zero. They are on the same level, the same voltage potential. So this means basically if they have the same voltage, there will be no uh, voltage drop. There will be no difference in voltage over the LED and then it will not light up. So that is the difference between active low and active high. So the first example here with this LED, this LED is acting active high. So when I put a high value on the digital pin, it will actually light up. In this case, for this LED, it will instead light up when I put a low value or zero volts on the digital pin. And this circuit I draw here is actually right now running here. I should point out that I skipped to draw the resistors in this uh, sketch here, uh, but you can see that I have them here. So this here is actually happening right here. Uh, actually, in this case, uh, on the Arduino here, I skipped to use pin 13. I instead used pin number 6. But it doesn't make a huge difference. So you can see that one positive side here, the 5 volts, is going to the resistor here. Uh, so there's a resistor here, basically somewhere along the way. And then through the resistor to a green LED. So this is the green one. And uh, it goes through the into the positive side of the green LED and the minus point goes to this row uh, with the yellow cable. And the yellow cable goes to pin number six. If we follow the other way, the ground cable, which is black, you should preferably use red for voltage, for VCC, for 5 volts. Uh, VCC is just a, another name for 5 volts, because uh, it's basically the, the standard voltage for, for the Arduino. Uh, if we follow the black cable here, it goes also through a resistor. Somewhere along this way here it would be a resistor. We could draw it out like this. This is usually how you draw a resistor, and I could draw a resistor here as well. and it uh, goes to the minus part of the LED and then the plus side goes instead to the pin. Uh, so this is the basic difference between uh, uh, active low and active high. So that's it.